Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash, and all double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day. That's continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the whole elect that is also laboring this work, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. In faith, true sincerity, and also in all charity. Now, uh, the topic of this video is going to be entitled The Staff and the Stayers is Being Taken Away. Well, if the Spirit allows me to title it any other way, then uh, so be it. But the topic is concerning um, this current government shutdown in which Jake, you know, our people, which consists primarily of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which uh, their true biblical nationality is Israel. Right now, they're feeling the, the effects of prophecy, all right? And the main prophecy that's concerning this uh, current uh, event that's going on concerning this government shutdown is that now the support is being taken away from them, you know? The support in which they, they relied on Esau, in which that's the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man, or he's also known as Edom. So they trusted in the so-called white man's government system, and now it's going against them. All right, now it's coming up against them. Now the system that they trusted in has abandoned them. All right. Which now they're they're in a uh, a riot, you know they're in an uprising, so to speak. You know, concerning um, they they're not able to get, you know, their their aid from the government. Which once again it, it falls back on prophecy, man. The Lord is going to say, look, He's going to take away the support away from Israel in these last days. All right, and that support has come by the way of this government. You know, aiding them in, um, you know, the food stamps, EBT, you know, the SNAP, the WIC. All that's being taken away from them, and especially from these proud-ass women, man. The proud-ass women of our, of our nation, in which they prime themselves on this, on this uh, government aid and have completely taken advantage of it to the point to where you have a uh, woman of our nation, they don't even... Some of them don't even work because the, the government is paying for their needs. All right. They actually were uh, living off the government. But now, since the government is, is in a shutdown, guess what? They're not going to have any more any more resources. All right. They don't have anything to fall back on. Why? Because they trusted in this government. All right. And we've been warning our people about this, that. When the time comes, in which we're in that time right now, that we will have to, we have to fall back on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, we have to put our full trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And did they listen? No, they didn't. So guess what? The things that are happening to them right now is called for. You know, we don't feel pity. We don't feel sorry for them. You know, we don't. You know, uh, you know, wish them well doing. Why? Because they trusted in Esau. And they disregarded the words of Yahweh about Shemel Shah because this word has been out for years. All right. Years and years on end, man. And now it's being and now it's playing out right before their very eyes. So now they have nothing to go to the fall back on, man. All right. That that whole um that raft that they are riding on this whole time is being destroyed. All right. And guess what? The sharks are coming at them now. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures. And this just goes to show you, man, that look, the law is nothing to play with. All right. When he says something's going to happen, it's going to happen. And guess what? This is what he said in Isaiah, the third chapter, in the first verse says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bashemel Shai, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah, right? The whole nation of Israel. 
the stay and the staff, all right? Now, the stay and the staff represents the stability, the support. That's what you use a stay and a staff for, all right? So the, this is this is the Lord is doing. The Lord has has made it to where Trump is um, completely disregarded the advice that he's been given, you know, concerning the way he's supposed to con con uh, conduct himself in um, in his seat. But you know, Trump is not having it. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, as uh, or should I say, the the Lord put the spirit on Trump to do this to to uh, keep the government shut down all right why is that man because really that plays a part of prophecy you know having this government shut down which is going to lead to other things all right like martial law and we've been speaking about that all right and here it is again the spirit is is, is riling that back up concerning martial law because martial law is only enacted in a time of emergency and guess what this is a time of emergency all right, during the government shutdown, anything can happen. You can have an uprising of a pe of the people, civil unrest. All that creates a domino effect, and when that happens, that calls for uh, uh, drastic measures. And the way that they're going to bring in that drastic measure is by what martial law. All right, which ultimately is going to lead to the mark of the beast, which we've been prophesying for for the longest now, concerning the mark of the beast, in which we know it's the microchip. All right. That says uh, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. Why? Because their food stamps. That hey, there's a big controversy over their food stamps. Now they're not able to get it. Now they're stressing about how they're going to eat the next day. Well, guess what? The Lord took that away from you. All right, he took away the stability of food and stability of water. Now what are you going to do? All right. Now I'm gonna go from there. <clears throat> get the book of uh, Jeremiah, the thirtieth chapter, in the seventh verse. It says, "Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it." All right, now it's gonna be a time where it's, it's not gonna be compared to any any of the previous times that came during the during the past, man. You know, seven A.D. is is nothing compared to what we're coming into right now. All right, you know, if you know anything about seven A.D., uh, basically. You know, 7 AD was when our people fled out of the land of Israel and were persecuted by the Romans. All right. You know, our people starved to death. They were taken in, um, taken uh, in, in, in large number. And when I say that, I mean, they were pretty much they they were scattered one part was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and another part stayed behind and they starved to death you know the romans killed some of them so again we're coming to that time again but guess what it's, it's a lot worse than it was, it was before okay so it says uh it is even the time of jacob's trouble because now we're coming to the time of jacob's trouble which jacob is the progenitor of the Israelites alright so when the scriptures speak about Jacob or the house of Jacob or Jerusalem and Judah it's talking about the nation of Israel alright which once again consists primarily of the so called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans and you have others that come from the line of Jacob that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that's not here in the soils of America all right, and it says, uh, "But he shall be saved out of it." And the he that is talking about is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, that's what it means by "he shall be saved out of it," because the elect are going to be brought through these harsh times, and they're going to be able to escape these things, man. But for the rest of our people. They're going to be caught up in it. For the rest of our people, they're going to be caught up in it. They're going to, and they're going to be overtaken by these things that are happening. And there's going to be no one there to save them. Not even the Lord Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son Yahweh Shai. They're, they're not even going to come to, to uh, deliver two-thirds of our people. That's why you have uh, 
a two-third number out of the nation of Israel and you have a one-third number out of the nation of Israel. You can go read that in Zechariah, the 13th chapter, starting at the 8th verse. All right? You got a one-third and two-third. And a two-third is going to be left behind by the Lord to suffer and die. All right? Yeah, it sounds harsh, but that's how it's got to be. You know? Because right now, there, there is no pity in these times, man. All right? Like the scriptures say, um, it says, who, who will pity a charmer that has been by a snake? Because that's that's how our people are. That's how two-thirds of our people are. They were in bed with a snake. And guess what? Now they're getting bitten by that same snake they were in, they were in bed with. All right. But I'm going to go from there. Uh, I'm going to get the book of uh, Isaiah. The uh, 30th chapter. Right now, um, start at the first verse. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, that take counsel, but out of me, right? Because they take the counsel of this current government, right? They consult it with, with these Edomites on um, these different plans that they set up for, for our people. But really, they don't know that that's a trap, all right? And it's going to further explain it in this chapter, right? It says, But not of me. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, right? Because they, they think that the government is going to protect them. They think that these Edomites, these high, higher ups of Esau, this, this government is going to protect them, right? But guess what? Now it's, now it's, it's coming to the point now to where they're being left out in the open to die, man. All right? And rightfully so. It's going to explain in this, once again, it's going to explain even that in this same chapter, right? It says, but not of my spirit that they may ask in the sin. That walk to go down into Egypt and not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, right? This is uh current Pharaoh is uh set up right now, which really comes down for the, the wicked elites, which are the banking families. But the current Pharaoh that's set up over here in America is uh Trump, all right? It says in the trust in the shadow of Egypt, right. And this is this land is of the shadow of Egypt, man. All right, this land is uh, spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, like it says in the Book of Revelations. Okay, because Egypt is known as the house of bondage. All right. Now, verse three says, "Therefore," and it's the point. It says, "Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion." Right, because now they don't know what to do. All right, now they're in, in disarray. They don't know where they're going to get their next meal from. You know, now that they have to figure out or come up with a way to, to survive now without the aid of the government. Yeah, it's real, man. All right. Now I'm going to go from now and get the last precept. The book of Proverbs, the first chapter and the uh, 20th verse. It says, uh, Wisdom cry without she uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openness of the gates, in the city. In the, in the city, she uttered her words, saying, "This is this is us. We've been out on the highways and byways, and wisdom has been speaking through his through uh, the Lord's men that he set up to do this. All right, starting with the apostle elders of Great Millstone on down to the rest of the other brothers, in which we are the prophets of the Lord. Okay, verse twenty-two says, "How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity?" And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge, right? Because they hated they hated the words that we speak for so long. Now it's coming full circle. Now it's starting to, to uh that that harsh payback that the Lord had for these for two thirds of our people is now coming to pass. All right. And they delighted in their scorning towards us, man. They they delighted in seeing us fall. They delighted in seeing our suffering. Now guess what? The Lord has turned the tables on them now, and now we're starting to witness their suffering. All right. Now they'll realize how it is to 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 uh to go through the things that we go through. You know. That's verse uh, twenty three says, "Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make my known my I will make known my words unto you." And he is. I just read it in the book of Isaiah, the third chapter, that he's taking away the stay and the staff away from from Judah and Jerusalem. Okay. 
It said, verse 24, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof, right? Because we've been out there for, for decades, literally decades, man. Okay. So the Lord has extended his hand out towards his people. And he has completely disregarded it, man. They they com they completely disregarded the the, the uh, counsel of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, in which he has set up a, a righteous counsel on the planet Earth, and they've been out on the highways and byways speaking. They've been putting up videos and shows and lessons, putting up the camp videos, and they didn't listen. All right. So they have said it not all the Lord's counsel, right? Because is this the, we, we are the counsel of the Lord, man. The Lord specifically put this counsel together just so that I'm a, uh, I am won't say a majority, but uh, 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 a number, a certain number of our people will come back in righteousness, all right? Two thirds are, are, are set up so they can reject it. You know, that's in, in the Lord's plans, all right? It's a method to the Lord's madness, man. All right, that says uh, it actually goes deeper than that, but you know that'd be another topic for another video. The reason why the Lord did that in the first place. So it says, um, I also will laugh at your calamity, and guess what? We're laughing right now, man. When I, I, I personally, man, when I saw this and I saw the, the how Jake was reacting. When um they're realizing that their support was being taken away from the government, that their food stamps saying, "Oh, I can't feed my kids, I can't feed my six kids," and you know my food stamps, you know, they people banging on the door windows, and you know, I started laughing, man. I chuckled when I saw that, man. <laughs> All right, I chuckled my ass off when I saw that, man, because I, I was in in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, rightfully so, man. All right, you know, I was, the, it was, I was laughing when I saw that, when I saw that piece of news brought out with uh, the brother, I, I, I believe the channel is uh, Kodar Shapat. I don't know the, uh, the brother's name personally, you know, Slag, I, um, um, I don't know the brother's name, but um, you go check him out, Kodar Shapat. He put up that video in this, uh, that news, you know, that news media, in which I believe is on Fox News. If I'm not mistaken, that's the, um, that's the news media that he got it from. But you see Jake, you know, balling and balling out, and when I say balling, I mean crying. All right, not the not the other balling. You know, they boohooing, balling, crying. You know, man, and that's and that was funny. To, that's funny to me, man. You know, and this is the reason why. Verse twenty six. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. And you can guarantee that these Jake right now are sitting at home praying praying to Jesus. <laughs> but guess what? He said, but I will not answer. All right? Because that's not even his name. All right? Which once again, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and the Son's name Yahweh Shai in the ancient Hebrew. All right? That says, uh, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, right? And seeking the Lord early, it, it means that they're going to seek him diligently, all right? They're going to be looking far and low for the Lord to help them out in that situation, but he's not going to answer them, all right? Why? Because he says, like, right, like it says right here, it says, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. You how about Shemuel Shai, right? They didn't choose to fear the Lord. They didn't choose to fear his name because they didn't know what, what type of power they were dealing with. They thought that just seeing us out there on the highways and byways, they thought that the Lord was joking when he when he um pronounced or published his word through us. But now he's making it known. All right. They didn't choose to fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and his words, and they disregarded it. All right. So they were none of my counsel, and they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way, right? Because they came to eat <laughs> since they can't eat. Now, now they have to eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, right? So now that the, the same things that they were, uh, 
you know the same uh denouncement or 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 um, defamation you know they defamed us and, and called us out of our names and and thought of all ill manner of us guess what those same things now they now they have to to bite that man now they got to take it now they got to take what they dished out all right and be filled with their own devices for the turning of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them and with that i'm going to close out this video and lord's will is edifying to the body of Yahweh Bashim El Shai to the members of the Hofi Lek and only for the members of the Hofi Lek of the nation of Israel. And until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rachach Wadash, and uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day. Shalom, peace and safety, salutations to the Hofi Lek that's still plowing in his work, giving diligence to make your calling, election sure and faith, true sincerity, and also in all charity.